Every year, hundreds of people are reported missing from our state and national parks. A large number of these people are never found despite extensive search and rescue efforts. In many cases, the circumstances behind these missing person cases are just plain bizarre. Join me as I count down 10 more of the strangest national park disappearances. Note that these are only the cases that are reported and released to the public while many others simply go under the radar due to limited or withheld information. Number 10 On Easter Sunday, April 12, 1998, 20-year-old Jason Knapp vanished while out on a hike at Table Rock State Park in South Carolina. His 1990 Chevy Beretta was found at the park entrance with most of his personal belongings inside. The 3,000-acre park was searched extensively, but Jason was never located. There was no evidence to suggest he was taken by Will and he was not suicidal. Jason was a Clemens University sophomore and was looking forward to a promising career in the Army. He never had that chance. Jason Knapp is just one of many who simply vanished in our state and national parks. Number 9 On July 28, 2012, 19-year-old Jackson Kreiser was reported missing at Glacier National Park in Montana after failing to return from a hike in the early hours of the morning. He was last seen leaving Lake McDonald Lodge for a day hike from Logan Pass through the Floral Park and Avalanche Basin areas, ending at Avalanche Lake. He was an employee of the lodge and knew the area well. A search and rescue team which consisted of more than 100 people failed to locate any clue to Jackson's whereabouts. The search went on for several long days before it was scaled back and eventually called off. Six weeks after he was missing, hikers found skeletal remains which were then identified as Jackson, and the cause of death was first determined as a result of injuries sustained from a fall. However, later on, Officials changed their story and reported that he had died from exposure or hypothermia instead. To no surprise, this angered some. Also, his body was found in a small waterfall draining about five miles from his original destination and in some of the roughest terrain in the park. Number 8 In May 2014, a 48-year-old hiker named Sharon Bowie was reported missing at the Mount Roberts trailhead after failing to meet a companion that morning for a planned group hike to Hawthorne Peak in Alaska. Her vehicle was found in the parking lot of the trailhead and after a thorough investigation, detectives believe she vanished into the surrounding wilderness. A search team was called in to look for the missing woman, including a half a dozen rescue canine units the Coast Guard, and about 30 local volunteers. The ground search was augmented by helicopters with spotters on board to cover the areas that could not be accessed by ground due to extremely rough terrain. The Coast Guard utilized special infrared technology, but despite these combined efforts, the search was called off after several days. Sharon was never seen again. Number 7 in August 2014, a 30-year-old Eastlake woman named Hillary Sharma disappeared while taking photographs in the Cuyahoga Valley National Park in Ohio. After seven days of an extensive search, her body was found in the Cuyahoga River. News of her death was shocking to those who knew her because she was an excellent swimmer and was always extra careful outdoors. She was found still dressed in all of her clothing but her shoes were gone. Her camera was found several hundred yards away and when authorities looked through the images, the last several were very blurry as if she'd been running, taking pictures of something. Her car and many of her personal items were left undisturbed. No cause or manner of death was ever released. Number 6 
In 2013, a 39-year-old Pennsylvania math teacher named Matthew Green was reported missing on July 29th, according to Mammoth Lakes Police Department. The avid hiker was camping at the Shady Rest Campground in the Inyo National Forest and was waiting for his car to be repaired at a local shop. He arranged for a friend to pick him up at the camp and drop him off at the shop when the car repairs were done. But when his friend arrived, all he found was Matthew's abandoned tent with a few of his things still inside. The friend then notified authorities and a massive search was underway. But despite these efforts, nothing was ever found. As strange as this case may seem, it's disturbingly common throughout various state and national parks. Matthew's case was lucky enough to gain national headlines, but many others just like it simply fade away or get brushed under the rug. Number 5 On June 1, 2015, 62-year-old Susan Bennett was reported missing after she failed to show up for a meeting with her landlord. She was last seen at the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and her vehicle was located at the Porter's Flat Trailhead on the first day of the search with all of her belongings still inside. On June 8th, her body was found in the Greenbrier section of the park after an area-wide search operation by train trackers and rangers found her. Investigators found her without any shoes and said nothing at the scene indicated her death was related to an animal attack or foul play. Susan was a member of the Smoky Mountains Hiking Club and was an avid hiker and often liked to hike off trail in the park. She was in great shape according to her friends and family and they were shocked to learn about her death. Number 4 53 year old Larry Kahn departed on a three day backpacking trip in the Inyo National Forest in the Sierra Nevadas on October 19, 2012, but he never emerged from the wilderness. Larry had planned on hiking through a rugged wilderness area in the mountains of the eastern Sierra, not far from the small town of Independence, officials said. His planned trip included a climb over the Taboose Pass, a trail described as strenuous and requiring a climb of more than 6,000 feet, according to the Park Service. Search crews focused their efforts on the pass and an area considered to be a likely camp location, but soon after his disappearance, weather conditions became worse and the search was eventually called off. Larry was described as an experienced hiker who was quite familiar with the region, having hiked it just earlier that year. Around the time of Larry's disappearance, Two other hikers in two separate incidences disappeared in the area as well. Number 3 In November of 2014, Kenny Veach, a 47-year-old experienced hiker, ventured off into the Nevada desert in search of a strange cave he had spotted during a previous hike near Death Valley National Park. According to a comment he left on YouTube, the cave was odd and had a strange entrance that resembled the letter M. As he approached, he claimed to have felt a strong vibration engulf his entire body. The closer he got, the more the vibration intensified. Whatever was inside the cave made him fear for his life. Kenny left and returned days later with proper gear and a gun for safety. But that was the last time anybody saw or heard of him. A search party was formed by the Nevada Rescue Volunteers and rescue dogs were dispatched as well. They found Veach's cell phone near an abandoned mine shaft about a week later, but no sign of him was ever found. This case remains a mystery. Number 2 In April 2008, a 24-year-old French exchange student named Henrietta Muir vanished during a school field trip with Colby College students in the Acadia National Park region. She was with a group of students hiking back from the Cadillac Mountain South Ridge Trail when she disappeared. She was last seen in the back of the group and those who last saw her said she had stopped to tie her shoes. 
The group split up into smaller groups and spent several hours looking for Henrietta, but was unable to locate her. Classmates report she was in good spirits and really excited to be on the trip. Park officials conducted a sweep from one end of the park to the other and spent several days combing through the 47,000 acres but failed to locate any sign of her. Those involved in the search and rescue effort were absolutely perplexed how a woman with very little hiking experience could just vanish into thin air and under the noses of others. The woman's parents eventually traveled to the U.S. to help aid in the search for their missing daughter, but after a month they assumed the worst and gave up. Henrietta's disappearance remains a mystery to this day. Number 1 on June 2nd, 2015, 22-year-old Morgan Heimer of Wyoming was reported missing after failing to return from a hike in the Grand Canyon National Park. He was working as a guide for the Tour of West Company, and the group was on day six of an eight-day trip when he went missing around the 213 River mile marker near Pumpkin Springs on the Colorado River. Three ground teams and one river team searched hundreds of square miles but no trace of Morgan was ever found. Morgan was last seen wearing a blue flannel, a flotation device, brightly colored shorts, and he was carrying a purple water bottle. Many were baffled about his disappearance considering he was an expert tour guide who knew his way around the area and also had great experience in the outdoors. He was well educated about the surrounding area and in excellent shape. This case remains a mystery. Even more strange, Morgan's disappearance was also joined by two other recent cases involving a 27-year-old named Justin Cremer, who was also reported missing on June 2nd, and a 21-year-old named Drake Kramer, who went missing earlier that year. All three men vanished near the South Rim area of the park and have not been seen since. All three were physically fit intelligent and very familiar with the landscape. If that's not strange enough, dozens of others have vanished in the park over the years and under similar circumstances despite the amount of manpower and technology involved in the search and rescue efforts. I think it's pretty clear why I chose this case as number one. There you go. Ten more strange and mysterious disappearances to add to the thousands of other cases out there. What do you think's happening to these people? I'd like to hear from you. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.